Make yourself at home, guys. Seriously. Get get cozy. Get comfortable. <laughs> Can I, I want you to feel at home. <laughs> How come your feet are not on the table? I feel like you're a stranger over there's there. Not, there's not space on the couch. Come I'm on. sitting on a chair. Come on, cozy. No, no, he, he lied. We're one, we're one big happy family, I was, guys. Look, so I, I sat on the couch. <laughs> Ryder sat in the chair, I scooted over on the couch, and was like, Ryder, sit on the couch. And he said no, so don't let him play wow. that. Wow. Don't let him play that, there's no Stranger. room on the couch stuff. What's going on, guys? Thank you for clicking on and watching us. This is the cast of Mid-90s. This is so exciting. The movie comes out in Philadelphia on October 26th, written and directed by Jonah Hill. Uh, introduce yourselves uh, here on Facebook Live. Let's go down the row. What's up? I'm Sonny Soljic, and I play Stevie in Mid-90s. Oh, it's me. Uh, yeah, you're up. <laughs> uh, my name is Ryder McLaughlin, and I play fourth grade. I'm Nakel Smith, and I play Ray in mid 90s. <laughs> I'm Olin Pernet, and I play fuck shit in mid 90s. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're getting down to the wire here. The movie comes out on the 26th. How exciting is this for you guys? This is insane. It is insane. I mean, uh, I'm so happy for it to come out, and then it comes out. October 19th in New York and LA. So I'm about to just I can't wait for it to be in theaters. It's going to be it's going to be out soon. So this is the um debut for Jonah Hill, right? Like writing and directing uh the film. How did you guys like meet up with Jonah? How did this all happen for you guys? Well, um I was just skating my local skate park and uh Mike Alfred, the co-producer on the film. I knew him from skating. And so he uh, he brought Jonah and uh, Lucas Hedges, and then I just he introduced me to them, and I started talking to them, and then I just got into like the casting process and all of that. <laughs> yada yada yada. Now yeah. I'm starring in a movie. No big deal. <laughs> it's kind of the life. Uh, so you've obviously acted before. You've been in movies. You guys uh, are skateboard professionals. You've never acted before. What was that process like going from the skate park to being in a feature film? It was a, uh, it was kind of. I mean, I guess it was a little like a little nerve wracking because, you know, you kind of. Uh, skateboarding is kind of like, anti everything sometimes. Yeah. So it's just like. You're hopping into, a, a world, just a whole completely different world is like, I was I was a little nervous like. It's kind of nerve wracking, like, right? Even like some of my sponsors was like skeptical, like, "Oh, that's what you want to do?" Like, <laughs> I, I guess, all right. Like, but I don't care what nobody think. I just did what I wanted to do. I was open to the idea, and I'm so happy that I decided to do it. Yeah, I think Jonah was quoted saying, "Like, seeing you guys transform from skateboard professionals to, you know, good actors was like one of the most rewarding experiences ever for Jonah Hill." Like, what does that mean to you guys? Like, that's incredible that he said that. That, does, that doesn't sound real. That doesn't yeah. sound like real. I could have made it up. I don't know. It sounds good, though, right? No, no. no, no. <laughs> he, for, he for sure said that, but it's like, hearing him say that and, like... Coming from Jonah Hill. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like did you watch, like, you've obviously seen, like, all of his movies and stuff like that, right? Like, yeah. you grew up with Jonah Hill. Of course. Like, everyone has. Is he different in person than he is in, like... All of your favorite movies? He's funny as hell. Yeah, no, yeah. he's really funny. Yeah, he's super nice. Uh... He's just a regular person, like, yeah. yeah. never in his trailer. Um, always, like, just talking, just just, just chilling with us. Yeah. yeah he's a cool person. So he's exactly how you would think he would be. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. And how old are you guys, by the way? I'm 13. 13. Man, when I was 13, I wasn't doing any of this stuff. I'm, I'm still not, and I'm 31. <laughs> Alright, what about you guys? Uh, I'm 20. I'm 24. 22. Nice. This is insane. You guys are so young in a freaking movie. Yeah. What's like the, been the coolest experience? Like, Alright, so you shot the movie, you did all this, uh, all new experiences for you guys. Um, since then, like doing this press tour and like meeting new people, what's like the coolest experience been for you guys? I mean, it's it's always something. Besides good. this, like, oh, besides this. B besides like our couch interview, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, wait. Do you mean like, like acting or skating or like? Just anything? any like this whirlwind. I mean, this is this is insane. You're in a movie, you know, directed by Jonah Hill. It comes in theaters, L.A. and New York on the 19th. Right, comes out in Philadelphia on the 26th. This is like you're going across the country. I think they were telling me like you're going out to L.A. to do more interviews in the press. You're going to San Francisco. 
Have you met some cool people? Like, what's like been like that moment where you're like, man, I made it. Like, this is actually happening. I'm 13 and I'm in a freaking starring in a movie. I think probably. So we watched uh, the first time we watched the movie was in TIFF, uh, the TIFF fit, uh, Film Festival, and then in Austin. But then uh, just recently, wait. I'm sorry, we've been to so many states. I, <laughs> I don't blame where, you. Wait, where was the the last screening? New York. Yeah, New York. I'm so, <laughs> In New York, we, I was just watching it, and like that was like my third time watching like the whole movie, and it was like, it really like hit me, and I was like, whoa, like, I'm playing the lead, and it's something that I love to do with like skating. It involves skating and acting, like two things that I'm super passionate about, and doing all this like press and like all these interviews it's just like it's crazy and it's not like i mean it is a bit tiring but it's not like i dislike it in any way it's not like oh i hate i hate doing this i mean it's, i enjoy it and i mean just like enjoying it with like all my friends it's like i'm pretty like close with them now and then it's just it's like this movie so was tailor-made for you it's insane yeah. and he's uh jonah was also i think quoted saying like you the character he made before he like knew you you brought it to life like you are the guy he said that he wanted a character that was three feet tall in real life but 12 feet tall inside with the confidence and you know are you that guy are you full of confidence inside yes yeah yeah <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> yeah yep i mean <laughs> I, I guess i mean because i was not that way when i was 13 uh i mean i would i guess i'd put myself in that category like pretty outgoing yeah 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 he knows he knows knows he's the man he wrote with the big boys yeah 13 like what grade is that that's it but he oh man yeah i was not but it doesn't really feel like i mean it's like with skating because i grew up skating it's not like i mean outside of the skating world it it sounds crazy like a 13 year old hanging out like 20 year olds but it it's really not like that when in the skating world it's you don't like really think about like race or like age and it sounds like that doesn't sound genuine but it's true like i, w- I would like every time they say that they're like 20 or every time that i mention that i'm 13 it like doesn't really like shock me in any way I yeah know. now when did you guys start skating i started skating when i was three three how do you skateboard when you're three how does, yeah, that, I how skated does that work better than i walk uh, <laughs> I was, like, uh and then i mean i was like I just didn't really like understand what I was doing, but it was like pretty fun. I mean, I, I, it's, it's kind of like a blurry memory, but I remember when I was like four, uh, I would like firecracker down like stairs and firecrackers like, you're not jumping over the stairs. You're just like, you're on your board and you just keep rolling down the stairs and it just goes like, mm, 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 like that. <laughs> but that's probably like. The... That's insane. And you guys like same same deal like uh, out the womb. You just skate out the womb. You what? I was like 10, like 5th grade. Wow. I started like catching the bus to school by myself. And yeah, so I just would like take my skateboard with me to like get there faster. And, yeah. And, yeah. Like in high school, I was telling you guys, like I brought my skateboard around wherever I went. I went to the skate park. I just like stood there watching everyone though because I didn't know how to, to skateboard. <laughs> just shut up, Nicole. Nicole's laughing at me. <laughs> and it was a Bart Simpson skateboard that I bought at Media Play that establishment's not even open anymore it's like a old store because i'm old but yeah i'm so jealous of you guys does that make me uncool that i carry around a skateboard or was i that's cool right at the park cooling yeah i was just yeah i was just observing i was a spectator i was a fan i don't that's, know that's tight, that's tight. <laughs> yeah, that's tight. <laughs> that's making yeah. me feel better about myself no nah, that's facts I yeah just, that's tight. i mean i i always enjoyed the culture of it i just didn't know how to do it you was in the community yeah i was afar from yeah. afar what about you, man? Like, You've been quiet the whole time. And on your stool. On your stool. On your stool, I'm just off listening. the couch. I'm listening, you know, chiming in when I'm, you know. <laughs> uh, What about you, man? When, when did you uh, first start skating? Uh, I would say I started skating around seven, somewhere in there. Really yeah. young. I remember getting, like, pushed around on a skateboard. Yeah. My brother was at the skate park. My dad would push me around, so kind of just kept doing it. It's gotta mean like extra for you guys to be starring in a movie that like you've all been a part of for so long, like this whole skate life and stuff like that. I mean, that's gotta be something extra for you guys. It's not like you had to break character so much, you know? Yeah. Uh, I think 
think it's very important with like re hearing that John was gonna make a movie about skateboarding yeah. and, and, and kind of knowing the history of like skateboarding films or like films that try to like interpret skateboarding or whatever. Uh, it was uh, I kind of felt like I had to. I was like, I gotta be a part of this to make sure that it's not like corny. Right. You know, it's gotta be authentic. Yeah, and like, and then especially like, I, once I read the script, then I was like, oh, okay, sick. Like, it's it's not really, it's not like super. Oh, you got like when you watch the movie, you'll see like yeah. skateboarding is definitely a, a huge factor, but it's not the end all be all. Right. The movie, so. There's layers to it. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Uh, thank you guys for stopping by. I know that this is a, uh, a crazy uh, press tour for you as we get down to crunch time. So thank you guys for stopping by. And you've been to Philly before. We were talking like you've skated at Love Park, right? And Dilworth, you've oh, been yeah. over there. Yeah. Not Dilworth. Love Park, though. Love Park, yeah. yeah. Before they moved, it. nice. They closed it down. Are you uh, are you staying in town for the rest of the day? Are you gonna go uh, go and skate in Center City? No. No. You're out of here. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, they're everywhere. Uh, Mid '90s. It's uh, written and directed by Jonah Hill. This is super exciting. It comes out in theaters in Philadelphia on October 26th, right? Yep. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. I can't wait to watch it. Appreciate hey, it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.